It's recording time. Hi, I am Steven. I am at Stockton Con. And for my millennial subscribers, I have an amazing treat for you. I am here with Bob West, best known as the voice of Barney. And he's also a graphic designer. How are you, sir? I am just fine, Steven. How are you? Very good, sir. I mean, this is like a huge honor for me. Barney was a part of my childhood, sir. Like for you, what's it like that this uh, show has become uh, impactful to uh, millions of millennials? It's just been amazing. I mean, it's, you know, the kids were, you know, Barney's fans were three years old and now they're in their 20s or even into their 30s and they're having their own Barney fans, which is just amazing. And it makes me feel really old. So, but it's great. It's great to meet everybody. Yeah. And thank you so much for that, sir. And speaking of which, uh, tell us about how did you hear the audition for Barney? Uh, I have an agent, you know, that's the way it works. And uh, the company came to my agent and said, you know, we've got this character that's like this. He's kind of a fun dinosaur and kind of cuddly. Do you have somebody who might be able to do that? And my agent said, yes, I've got just the guy. But we, because of the way they did their process, they started building the costume first and I was too tall for the costume. So we ended up splitting the job into two people, one in the costume and then me doing the, doing the voice outside. So. We called it Dino Sync, but it worked. People said it shouldn't, but it did. It was great. Oh. And because of that, since you didn't do both, uh, with, anytime during the filming, were you present on set so that way you could, they, the, actor, the kids could have someone to read with? Yes, always there in real time, absolutely. We had a little booth off to the side, all the dinosaur voices, and we would talk to, talk to the kids, and there'd be a monitor sitting on the set so the kids could hear us. The dinosaurs always had their headphones in so they could hear us, and uh, it was great. It was great. Really worked out. Wow, that's really great to know. And uh, other than that, uh, other than just doing the voice, were you ever involved with like pitching ideas for episodes or anything like that? You no, know, I left that to other people. I mean, we talked about things here and there and some ad libs. I did some, you know, ad libbing at various times. And if, you know, if the kids dropped the line, I would fill in with an ad lib or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, I never got into production or anything like that. So, so I left that to other people. And uh, recently, a lot of other millennials were touched by another TV show, Blue's Clues, with the host Steve Burns like sharing an uh, emotional like speech to the fans. Have you thought of like coming back to like give a similar speech to the fans that are now adults? Well, you know, Steve kind of really disappeared there for a while, so his video is is such that you know him him to appear like that is really is really something special. And uh, and I've been kind of on Facebook now for 10 years. Uh, I have a fan page there at Yes That Bob West. And I'm on Instagram and elsewhere. So it's not like I've disappeared. So the thing that Steve did was just so great. And I mean, people were, you know, it made people cry because bringing back their childhood and, and all of that. But it was so good to see him. It's great that he's doing so well. And, um, and it was really, it was really awesome. I'm really glad that they did that. Yeah, and I was like very emotional by it. And other than doing uh, just Barney, like you actually got to record for a video game, uh, Sega Genesis. Uh, what was it like uh, recording for a game and that how Barney was going to other forms of media? Well, Barney doing other other forms of media, we did a lot of talking books. We did uh, we did the Actimates Barney, which was a very big thing. Um, that was a long, uh, you know, the Actimates Barney was the most technically uh, difficult recording sessions because we would stay, I would stand in a booth pretty much all day long and just repeat phrases over and over again. Because at the time, the technology was not very good at getting the sounds down into a small amount of data to put on a chip. So it was very particular about how everything sounded. So those took a long time to record. Kind of like recording Siri, they record different bits and pieces and then reassemble them. And with a video game, it's kind of the same thing. You just record bits and pieces, and then they put them into the game, and that's how it works. So, yeah, those, those are fun to do, though. Did you ever got to play the game? You know, I've seen it. I've seen, like, gameplay videos, and, uh, but I didn't actually get to, to, to play it. That would be fun, though. I'm mean, sure there's a Sega Genesis, you know, like an emulator out there that I could probably find to play it on. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. Yeah, like I would have liked myself to play and I wasn't even aware that Barney hit the video game market. And other than just video game, you guys got to do a big theatrical movie, uh, Barney's Great Adventure. What was it like, you know, also transitioning from the big screen to the small, I mean, the small screen to the big screen? Well, it was awesome. I mean, I, you know, I had done, worked on movies before in different roles on uh, crew, cast and crew and stuff. And so it was kind of natural to do that. But it was so great to be able to stretch the character and to do new things with the character and new, new emotions and new, you know, new physical action and that sort of thing. And just to be able to work outside, we worked out in the Montreal countryside in, in Quebec, in Canada, and it was just absolutely gorgeous, just like a postcard. And just amazing, you know, what a great 
bunch of people to work with. I love all my cast members and everybody in Peru. And we just had such an amazing time doing it. It was a lot of fun, it really was. And speaking of cast members, to this day, do you still ever reached out or kept in touch with any of the uh, kid actors? Yeah, I've, uh, I I've actually got several people who are friends on my uh, Facebook page and stuff, and yeah, we keep in touch, yeah. Not, well, not, not all of them, but yeah, some of them. Yeah, it's really great to hear, sir. Anyway, like, uh, since we're in an era of like reboots and uh, remakes, uh, what are your thoughts of uh, Get Out star David uh, Coulier, his attempt to like uh, make a Barney reboot? And like, I was actually touched by his message. Like, he assumes that Barney has just been misunderstood, and we got to remember the "I love you." Well, Daniel Kaluuya's movie is uh, still in, in uh, pre-production. Well, not even in pre-production; it's still in development, which is a stage before pre-production. So, it's one of those. It's one of those things, the sand people, worst. Yes, <laughs> it's the, uh, one of those things where, you know, it's, uh, we're not really sure that the movie is gonna get made. You never, you know, if it's still in development, you can't say it's absolutely going to be shot, but uh, I wish him luck. I haven't uh, heard from them or anything about the movie, so uh, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, maybe somebody will contact me, but uh, there, I, I've kind of heard some things about, you know, on talk shows that he's talked about, about, uh, what direction they're going to take and everything, and I think it's really interesting what he's what he's talking about. So uh, I hope uh, I hope they honor the character and and do well. So yeah. So thanks thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. And on final note, you also work as a graphic designer, and you you did some of my favorite TV shows like Community. Did you do like any of the visual text like in some of the crazy episodes? Well, I did a lot of, you know, like Abed would make a lot of diagrams and things, and I would often do their, you know, do the diagrams for them. For, for example, like the one that, uh, that was, uh, what was it, uh, Who's the Boss, that diagram. I, I invented that whole thing, and somebody had to put it in chalk on the chalkboard from what I, from what I designed. So, yeah, so I did, that show was a lot of fun to work on. I did board games for them and posters and a lot of different kinds of stuff. So, yeah, lots of fun. It's, it's like, thank you so much for my childhood, Bob, and thank you so much for your time. That is all recorders. Thank you so much for tuning in, and catch you next time.